how to generate 10,000 NFTs without coding. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can generate 10,000 NFTs without any coding whatsoever. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what I'm going to show you is how you can create different NFTs. Now, in order to create NFTs, you're going to have to create layers. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is in Adobe Photoshop. So over here, we're going to create a canvas by 24 pixels by 24 pixels as you can see over here we're going to keep the background transparent square pixels and all of that and we're going to call it nfts over here now once we have named it we just simply click on the create button to create ourselves a canvas give it a couple of seconds and boom your canvas has been created and this is how it looks like as you can see it's very tiny so let me just zoom in real quick so once you have zoomed in this is how it's going to look like as you can see 24 by 24 pixels this is a perfect square 24 24 yeah so now what we're going to do is first we're going to create ourselves a outline of our nft they're going to be like crypto punk so what we'll do is we'll just simply you know select the pen tool over here and we'll keep the pixel size one over here one pixel and over here as you can see when i go ahead and write it it's a single block so it's in white so let me just change the color to black here we go so what i'll do is one two three four five six seven i'll write seven over here and then one two three four five six and then i'll go ahead and create an ear by clicking on these three dots right here or four dots and then one two three four and then i'll go with a one and one more and then one two three actually it's a little bit smaller let me actually correct this seven eight over here we're going to create eight of these lines parallel lines for the neck then we'll create the ear and then one two three four five one over here and then one two three four five six for the head one more and then one and then one over here and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten over here and eleven and then one more for the chin and one two three four four over here and then one two three down over here meaning and that's how it is now we'll just erase the other ones that we just created right here so for this i'll also go with the block one two three four five six seven there we go now we have an outline right now we just add in the eyes and the mouth so for the mouth one two three for the mouth and then over here i'll create the eyes right here as you can see this is how it looks like you could even right over here right over here yeah that looks good now what we'll do is we'll create another layer so this is layer one so now we'll just input the color right so we'll add in a skin color you can go online and fetch the skin color code as you can see this is the skin color code i'll just simply copy it and then i'll come over here and i'll just simply paste it over here i'll remove the hashtag then i'll click on ok now we have it now we just simply fill it in it's very simple it's very easy you can go ahead and do this method as well uh, filling it in just you know helps with the bleeding effect right like if you use the pencil tool it just helps to not bleed the color of the outlines makes it much more clear so i'll just fill in the edges first and then i'll just fill in the rest there we go as you can see took a couple of seconds now we're done then you can go ahead and put like another white color just to give the eyes a little bit of depth like that and you're good to go now what we need to do is we need to create another layer now to create a layer just simply click on this plus icon over here for the layer button and we'll have a layer but we can also need to create different folders so we need to create a folder and we'll put the face within this folder right and we'll move it down over here and we'll call this face now you can go ahead and add different face layers if you want to like you can add multiple layers with different colors if you want to you can even add different accessories to it you can add different chains and stuff like that all creating different layers right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create like a glasses so for that i'll stick with the white color 
right and i'll just put like this bar over here while selecting this layer so that it does not interfere with other stuff so that it does not interfere or you know uh, put a color on other layers so this is how it looks like you can go ahead and do this uh, i'm just generally giving you an outline on how to do and then i'll just simply fill in the different colors like this blue color this could be a you know different type of glasses then we'll create another layer and we'll just do the exact same thing but with a different color so i'm going to go ahead and create a multiple layers just like this one with different colors and i'll catch you guys in a second okay so now as you can see we have all these different colors like three different layers in order for you to create 10,000 different nfts you're going to have multiple different layers that can be you know multiplied with each other so that they can create 10,000 nfts you can also create different background as well so now what i'll do is i'll just make a group and i'll put the group at the top and i'll select all these layers and i'll put them within that group and i'll name this group glasses there you go glasses are set now we need to create like a different white now we need to create a different background so for backgrounds i usually choose the gradient color and over here if you click on the gradient bar over here you can choose the basic colors the blues the purples the pink whatever uh, currently this one is set so i'll just simply click over here one corner and drag it to another one and drop it and this is how it looks like right now you can do this exact same thing by creating different colored backgrounds and creating different layers right so and then you just simply create a folder and you call that folder uh, backgrounds and once you've named it just simply hit enter and move the layer within that folder and close it now you have one two three folders now we'll create another folder right and we'll create another layer within those groups and now we'll just create like a different colored hat right so for hats you could go with another purplish green or whatever color type of color you want so like red right so now i'll just choose the pencil color selected the red color right there now i'll just create like this little beanie hat right here as you can see then this is a hat then we unsee that layer now we create a different colored one and we create like a bluish color there you go same thing with the other one as you can see they're all set now we create like a green one just like this one as you can see and then that's pretty simple it's a little bit too green so i'll just make it a little bit darker so that it's not you know very bright and you know doesn't look that good so yeah a darker color green looks much better now we have three more layers of hats and we'll call this group hats and pretty simply you're done then what you can do next is you can create accessories like a cigarette or a chain or maybe a different type of hat or an earring or different type of glasses it's all basically up to your imagination then once you're done it's pretty simple then what you need to do is come over here onto image size you know click on image and click on image size and then increase the size go with 1000 by 1000 all right and also just let me just zoom in so as you can see this is how it looks like it looks pretty clean looks pretty good also you got to do is you got to make sure that you're selecting the nearest neighbor hard edges or or else it'll look weird for you it might be something like this bicubic you know smooth gradient uh, it just blurs everything out so you gotta keep it nearest neighbor hard edges and yeah that looks good then you just simply click on ok and it's gonna increase the size of every single layer that you created and you know give it more depth and high resolution like this one right here so as you can see it looks pretty cool looks pretty great now what we'll do is we'll right click on each of these folders duplicate the group and over here we'll say over here on documents we'll click on new select new and we'll create a new like a canvas and we'll call it backgrounds right and it'll open up over here in another tab same thing with hats as well duplicate group set as new and we'll call it hats we'll call it okay there we go now once you've done that with each of these layers what you'll do is you'll open up these canvases right click over here you can export as over here or you can click on the file come down over here on export and click on export as sorry about that click on export 
and underneath export you will see layers to files simply click on layers to files and then you just simply browse the location where you want your files to be saved so you can just save it over here as you can see i already have a folder where i have added all of these different backgrounds like this with individual backgrounds and then you just simply you know go ahead and export them right so for hats i'll choose the hats folder i'll click on ok and then i gotta make sure that they're in png 24 all right and i gotta make sure that both of these two boxes the trim layers and interlaced they're unchecked and only the transparency box is checked and then i just simply click on run and then wait for a couple of seconds and my files my layers are going to be exported within that folder and we are good to go now once you have set everything up we are ready to move on to the next step so over here as you can see i already have done this beforehand so i have different colored backgrounds face glasses are all here hats are as here as well and we are good to go next what we need to do is we need to open up our browser we need to come over here onto this application called nft art generator right and the domain name is nft generator dot art so just simply come over here and click on get started you can get started for free it doesn't really matter so as you can see i've already have some preloaded data so what i'll do is i'll just reload the page so that i can get rid of everything how do i delete this there we go so i've reset it now what i'll do is as you can see we have some layers and we need to name each of these layers according to what we've named our folder so we already have the background next we'll just create a layer for face and hats and we'll also create one for glasses and yeah we're ready and then you can add other folders for accessories or whatever else that you've added and then what we'll do is we'll open up our folder right here and we'll just simply drag and drop all of our files within each folder so right now we have glasses selected so within glasses i'll just simply select all of my files and drag and drop them within our glasses folder over here same thing with hats i'll just select all of my hats and i'll simply drag and drop them over here and I'll, then we need to add our face over here so again we'll just simply drag and drop our face and then for the backgrounds of course we're going to add the backgrounds over here as well now over here you got to make sure that all of the percentage are 20 percent or equal to the amount whatever they are like 12.5 as you can see all of the layers are 12.5 and then glasses all the layers are 20 percent if they're uneven or one of them is higher or lower then that means that their resolution is not correct and you've messed up and you got to go back and fix it within the photoshop of your layer so then you just simply click on preview to preview your art and this is how it's going to look like over here as you can see this is how it's going to look like and over here you just simply enter in the collection size how many collections you want so let's say we want 100 for now since i've created a collection just for 100 size and over here you simply click on this arrow and you will see if you want to generate 100 you'll it's going to be free but if you want to generate a thousand or five thousand or ten thousand you got to pay a small fee right it's not small but as you can see over here it's a fee that you have to generate if you don't want to do any coding there is no other app that allows you to you know mint nfts for free if they do they're gonna have a watermark over here as you can see on this one one mint.io that is the watermark that they're gonna add on your nft if that's what you want then you're good to go but if you pay for them there is gonna be no watermark then you just simply click on generate collection and then it's going to generate all of the nfts for you in a couple of minutes over here as you can see and then you just enter in your email address and then just simply download the nfts and then once you've downloaded them this is how the folder is going to look like over here a sample folder and within the sample folder you have your metadata and your assets and in assets you're going to have all of your different nfts over here they're going to be in webp format but you can change that as well so pretty simple that's how you do it that's how you mint and create different nfts for free without having to need to code or whatsoever so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye